little half halt to slow him down. Good, and now go forward again. So now add a little speed. On that side, he's probably gonna keep getting step pacey because it's going downhill. So over there, we'll have to keep him a little slower. Good, bring his head back down even a little bit more because he's not paying attention to us. Good. Now here you're gonna think about cutting your corner and slowing down so he doesn't get pacey when you get to the rail over there. Yep, keep that speed and now a little bit slower. So right here, go a little bit slower. That's better, now he's not step pacing as much. Once you get through this corner, you can speed up again. Good, now you can go forward again. Good, and when he starts throwing his head around, you just pull on both reins, and you don't want to get in a fight with him. Sooner or later, he'll figure out to, the easiest thing is to bring his head down. If you start fighting with him, then some think it's a game and others think it's a war, and they get in a big fight with people. Good job. So again, as you pass me, you'll think of cutting the turn, and you'll also think of slowing down a little bit, because now he's getting step pacey again. Go out a little bit slower. Stay slow until you get through the next corner and then you can speed up again. Bring his nose back in. Yep, keep that head down, don't let him look out. Good, go a little bit faster, either using your legs or taps from the stick. Right there, you're good. He's still not pacing, so that's good. Good, remember to keep his head down as you're going faster. Good, very nice. You, we're gonna go around one more time and then you'll get a break. Good, now remember it's gonna start to go downhill so you're gonna slow down again.